Hey everybody, Derek here. I'm here to bring you another video for Z Nation. Um, I got a video recommendation topic by um, Ian, and I want to thank you again, Ian, for your suggestion. I think it's a very good one, and I think that uh, you know it's definitely worth making a video on. So uh, I'm going to make this video for you and anybody else who uh, is interested in Z Nation and maybe uh, has the same uh, question or uh, you know any uh, interest in the topic. And uh, Ian's suggestion was to uh, basically state who my favorite character is so far um, in Z Nation. So um, I think that's a great question. You know, one of the things that you look at in a in a you know a series is uh, first impressions matter. You know, in regards to the characters. Um, if you don't have interesting characters, then you're not going to be attached to the show. But I think that Z Nation has a couple of very interesting characters. Um, and I kind of juggle with um, which one is necessarily my favorite. So I'm going to break this down just a little bit um, in order to help, you know, me explain it a little bit. Um, because I like characters for many different reasons. Um, you know, when you watch a show, sometimes you have, um, you know, your favorite male character, your favorite female character. For a zombie show, you might, you know, base it on... Um, Who's your favorite villain? Who's your favorite hero? Who's your favorite zombie killer? I, there are so many ways to categorize um, characters. And I'm definitely going to categorize a little bit um, when it comes to the characters that we have now. Um, the first thing I want to do is do my favorite um, female character. Um, because they definitely have a couple of very good uh, female characters. And I think that right now my favorite one thus far would have to be Roberta, uh, played by Kalita Smith. I think that she definitely has a lot of great leadership uh, qualities about her, and she's not as um, you know cheesy with her dialogue as maybe some other characters are. But I just like how in that very first episode, um, when the old woman was dying and she stepped up and you know took care of the situation, it shows that she has the ability to be tough. And I really like seeing a very tough, um, you know, female role on the show. And I think that she can definitely uh, hold that type of a position. I really like her for, you know, her dedication. And I just think that she's that type of person that you would want to have in your group if the zombie apocalypse actually happened. So I really think that, you know, she's definitely a great character. Um, she's de definitely very tough, very pretty. Um, there's a lot of things that she has going for her, and I definitely like her as a character. But I also like um, Cassandra and Addie. I think that they're both also great characters, um, but I definitely would have to rank um, Kalita Smith's Roberta over um, the other two right now, mostly because she's had a little more screen time and a little more you know, solidarity to her character. Um, now, that may change as we learn more about Cassandra, but I'm definitely going to list, list her as my favorite female. Um, I'm also going to list a favorite male character on the show. Um, a little bit harder because I like some of them for um, different reasons. Um, but I think that if I had to choose one out of all of them, I definitely think that it would have to be Murphy, honestly. And the reason I say that is because right now he has a lot of depth to him. And I think that right now, out of all of the male characters on the show, I would definitely list him as the most interesting at this point, and the one that you really want to explore. Because we've learned a little about him, you know, the fact that he, he had to have been some kind of prisoner. Um, because, you know, he was wearing the orange jumpsuit, so I figured he must have done something wrong um, before all this. Maybe it was during the zombie apocalypse, maybe it was after, I'm not sure. But I think that it would be very interesting to learn a little bit more about his character. Because the thing is, is it's not like he's like the most ideal person to hold the, the, you know, the vaccine inside of him. You know, I think that if you had to pick other people, you'd probably think you'd want somebody who's, you know, a lot nicer. I mean, then again, you know, is it is it the zombie, you know, virus eating away at his brain or what is it? We don't know. But I definitely think that Murphy has a lot of, um, you know, history that we need to explore in order to understand him. And I also think that he has the ability to grow as a character. Because after being bit by the zombies in the first episode, like, I liked how in the second episode that they explored, like, why he's so fidgety and everything. 
part of the reason is because he's absolutely afraid of zombies. And of course, everybody is. But I can only imagine what it feels like to get bitten. You know, as I mean, you know, you can you can do that, and that's not you know, you just lightly bite down on yourself like sometimes people bite their fingernails, whatever. It's not gonna hurt, you know. But you get somebody that all the force of this jaw coming down and actually biting a huge chunk of flesh off of you, that has to hurt. I can't even imagine that. And for him to be bitten eight times definitely is an understand. It's definitely understanding why he would be afraid. But I definitely think that he has a lot of room to grow as a character. My hope is that we see him become a little braver, maybe a little more supportive. Um, because at this point right now, you know, he's kind of like, eh, who cares? You know, stop doing this. You know, I mean, he, he's not really very active. Now, whether that's because he, that's his disposition or whether it's because of the zombie virus is having an impact on him, we don't know. Because if you remember at the end of the first episode, he pulled one of his teeth out. And part of me wonders if maybe the virus is slowly eating away at him or if it's just he's so malnutrition. I don't really know. But I thought that that might be an indication that we're going to learn a little bit more about what this zombie virus does to you and, you know, that maybe it's having an effect on Murphy. So maybe they need to get him there faster because he's dying. Uh, that's definitely very possible. So I'm I'm interested to see if they're going to explore a little bit more about that. Um, I definitely think that's a good storyline, but I think that Murphy is a very interesting character, and I'm very interested to learn a little bit more about him. I'm also a big fan of Doc, though. I think he's extremely funny. I really, really laugh at almost everything he says, and I definitely think that he could be the great comic relief on the show. So I hope that he stays around for a while. But I do like Doc. And I like Garnett, too. I think that he's a very, very good character. I really think that he's got what it takes to lead this group. And I have a little more faith in him um, as a character. After seeing the way that he performed in the second episode, I definitely think that he has the ability to lead this group to uh, California. So I'm definitely interested to see it. And I believe that the other guy's name, I think, is Matt if I'm not mistaken, the, the college student. I hope to learn a little bit more about him because I think that he definitely is, you know, an interesting guy. And I think that, you know, maybe there's a relationship between him and uh, Addie that we don't know about. So I'm hoping that we learn a little bit more about him. He's kind of just been featured a little bit, not too central yet. But I'm interested to see what um, they have to offer. Um, but there's a third category I also use at, in regards to who's the best zombie killer. And I think. 10,000 takes the, the cake on that. I really am interested to see who 10,000 is. Excuse me. Because I think that he definitely has a lot of, you know, drive in him to kill 10,000 zombies. Now, is there a reason behind that, though? Because, yeah, we're, we're going to kill zombies because I always say one less zombie is never a bad thing. You know, if every zombie you get rid of is another one that you don't have to worry about tomorrow. Um, but does he have a particular reason for that, you know, just wanting to kill 10,000 zombies? Did somebody he loved get eaten by a zombie? Did he fail in protecting somebody? And I think that we can explore a little bit about him because he's really been reserved at this point, and I think that it would be nice to flesh his character out a little bit. So I'm really hoping that we do learn a little bit more about 10,000 because I think that he's got some kind of story behind him that I think really needs to be brought out, but he's by far my favorite zombie ki zombie killer of the show right now. The way that he used that slingshot was just absolutely amazing. Um, I've always wondered if you know you watch and you wonder like could you kill a zombie that way? And whether you can or not, still really cool to see him do that. So um, yeah, that's how I basically break that down. You know, I think that they do have a very interesting cast. Again, if they work on the dialogue just a little bit, I think that we can get a more interesting show, um, and I think that they do have potential. I think the characters are ones that you can get interested in, and I'm interested to see what Z Nation has to offer. I'm going to give it a few more episodes to really, you know, expand a little bit, see what else they have to offer, because I think that they have some um, some things going for them. The fact that they ordered 13 episodes shows that maybe they do have a little bit of faith in this show, and I'm interested to see what... Um, what will result. So I will stick with it, and I encourage anybody who's a zombie fan 
Um, if you're interested in that kind of stuff, stick with it and see what happens. You never know. Some shows get better as they keep going, and Z Nation may be that show. It does have potential. So I just want to thank everybody for watching. Thank you again, Ian, for your recommendation. I appreciate it. Very good, uh, very good suggestion. And if anybody else has any other suggestions that they want, uh, several kinds of video, just let me know. I'm uh, very interested to do video topics uh, for you guys, whatever you want. Um, and I will give you credit for your recommendation. I do, again, thank you very much, Ian. I really do appreciate the video topic suggestion. Thanks, everybody, and I hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you.